Nothing comes from here. I'm speaking on Baltimore, bro. Don't, don't shit come from here. So when you got a fucking rose that grow on this fucking concrete, y'all kill it. Being investigated as a homicide. It happened just steps from Camden Yards in broad daylight as lots of fans flocked to this area for the big game tomorrow. Moments after a deadly shooting at this downtown Sunoco gas station, Baltimore's only news helicopter, Sky Team 11, captured the aftermath. A large SUV can be seen jammed into the side of a minivan in the back lot of the business. People who live near Russell Street and Washington Boulevard say this couldn't be more out of the ordinary for their area. I've only lived here two and a half years, but I'm really shocked that that happened here. I mean, I walk around this corner all the time. Police say around 2 p.m., officers got the call for a car crash. They arrived to find a 27-year-old man who'd been shot in the head inside the SUV. He died at the hospital. Homicide detectives continue to be on scene hours after the incident. It happened directly across the street from Camden Yards. Like, fuck yeah, what is the score? Shit, up there, at least four more. I don't do one pair, got 350 on me, it ain't bust fair. Yo, 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 what's up, people? We is back, baby. Another day on Keep It G News. And today we talking about my city, y'all. Y'all see I'm on vacation right now, this is not my normal background, yo, but we just took another major L to the streets of Baltimore, to the music industry in Baltimore, to Baltimore as a whole, you know? And I've got on this platform and spoke about some of the losses that we have took in this city. I'm talking about countless people of influence that these kids look up to in the community. You know, because it's cities like Baltimore, where it's impoverished, or you really don't got too many people to look up to that you can actually see and feel. You understand? It's different when you talk about the LeBron Jameses and, the, you know, the entertainers that's not locally. But when you got entertainers, yo, that... To the visual of it, to the kids, because that's what really matters, that to the kids that got uh, influence and got a certain level of status, yo, they're not supposed to be touched. You understand? They're not supposed to be touched, yo, because every time we lose one, a kid lose hope. Straight up. And people might not like how I put it, yo, but that's really the reality of it, yo. You know? Because they look at these people and think they made it, even though they didn't. But to the child, to the untrained eye, yo, to the 15-year-old or the 14 or the 10-year-old that sees these kids and inspire to be like them, and then when you take them away, it's like, damn, what else do I got? You know, when all you seeing is violence, abandoned houses, and things like that. You understand? But y'all see what happened, man. We just lost a man from my city, yo. Producer Proud White. Oh, yeah. My man cruising through the city cooking this shit up. Real is rich for DC, yo. Love you, Let's go. Love you, baby. Go ahead, baby. One time, baby. If I wanna fly, that bitch going up there. Cause I'm getting paid. Yes, fuck yeah. Hop on purple or my cut red. I'm on that tip. Going somewhere. Started on the first floor and went upstairs. When niggas say niggas, they be really talking about they self. Yeah. Yeah. When niggas say niggas said, it be them. Yeah. I had to realize that. <laughs> but nigga tell you nigga said it was them. Yeah. Uh, white boy tuck it up. I ain't even saying my name no more. The bitch got look it up. You never seen a hundred pounds. The block ain't dead enough. You never seen them. Y'all niggas turn it to Max. He's better though. The city, yo. So sad, yo. And so unfortunate, yo. And everybody in the city knows that if you want to hit, if you want your song to reach some level of success, white boy is your man. White boy is your man, yo. And, and, and he had the means and the money, I'm sure, to leave the city, get away from it all, turn his back on the city completely. But he decided to stay, yo, and, and be there as like a, as like an inspiration to the youth, yo, because that's what matters, man. A lot of people don't think about the youth, yo. That's what matters when you take these people away. How are they going to feel? The 9-year-olds, the 10-year-olds, you understand, yo? 
They look up to these kids, man. Especially the ones that matter. You know, the ones that's really involved in music. The ones whose parents not really that involved. You know, so music got a hold on them. They look at these rappers, man, and they treat them like celebrities when they see them. And Pride White Boy was one. White Boy, just if you had a message for the youth, what would be that message? Shit, now you got to stay focused. Because, shit, a lot of people, a lot of people out here in the streets, bro, most of them got to be in the streets. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, it, yeah, like I go so other places, and this niggas got options. You know what I'm saying? Right, so like, shit. A lot of people that I know from city, like, niggas ain't never finna make it out the city. That's why they glorify niggas so much when niggas do little shit. You feel me? Like, like we might look at this shit like it's little. Like, like Roddy just caught the vet. Mm -hmm. A hundred racks. Nigga ain't even smelt a hundred racks. You know what I'm saying? So you like, nigga look at the shit that nigga doing as like goals almost. You know what I'm saying? So that's why I like, I never put myself on a pedestal. You feel me? Because I, I know how this shit go. Like, you feel me? I done been homeless before. Now they had three, four penthouses to shit. You know yeah. what I'm saying? So it's like it's different. I don't know what it is to be up. I know what it is to be down. But 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 the question is like, you know what it is to be consistent. You talk about humble. That was that. That's what you call humble. A guy that knows what he's worth, but at the same time, he know what he's dealing with. He know the city that he in. He still decided to stay yo and be as a. A person of influence. Now it looked like to me, based off of what I know, you know, because he posted a picture saying that he was on 95 going toward the casino. Then he got killed or got found near the casino because they don't specify where he got shot. You understand? If he got shot at that gas station, they would have said he got shot at that gas station. They just saying a car crashed at the gas station. So more than likely, Looked like to me he may have been shot in the casino parking lot. And if that's the case, they're going to get caught. They ain't get away with that. I don't know why people... It's like, yo, people don't even watch the news, yo. They ain't see what happened to the last dude that, that tried to kidnap that man from the casino. They had all of it on tape. The whole thing, from the time these people was in the casino to the time they left out. But motherfuckers get so dumb, yo, and, and, and it's all about greed. They want to take what the next man got. Yeah, but what people got to understand is, yo, that money don't last. It don't last. You can take 100000 from a motherfucker. That should be gone in a year. It won't last because you didn't get it honestly. Now, white boy was trying to get honest money and helping people at the same time, yo. And people ain't have enough respect for him, yo, to leave that man alone and let him be. Man, this is devastating for the city, man. Devastating for North and Longwood, man. Salute to all my guys up North and Longwood, man. Fucked up, man. My man Pablo, my man J-Rod, Rainbow. All the old get older heads, man. Salute to them, yo. Salute to the young guys, my nephew Stax, man. He locked up right now. I know this shit gonna hurt Shorty, man. Because he ain't deserve it. There's so many other people in the city, yo, that... This treatment like this, or what happened to him, is warranted to them because that's how they living. You talking about a man of dead beats, man. He might have did little things on the sides, but I can tell you this. He wasn't out here trying to kill nobody. He wasn't out here trying to rob nobody. So he ain't deserve to die like this. He ain't deserve to be robbed if you ain't out here robbing. But that just go to a certain level of respect and morals and principles, yo, that nowadays most people don't stand on. They just talk about it. Then when he leave and decide to say, man, fuck the city, now he phony, now he fake. Now people really want to do something to him. Yeah, man? Because he left. But when you stay, you subject yourself to this type of things to happen to you, man. Murder, robberies. But like I said, I'm on vacation, yo. I ain't going to make this video too long, yo. But I want some condolences to his family, yo. Shout out to North and Longwood, yo. And this is going to hurt the city. On so many different ways, man. I don't know, even musically. Like I say, he was the guy. He was the go-to. I'm sure somebody might fill his shoes, yo, but his shoes shouldn't have to be filled, yo, because he should still be standing in them. And I'm out.